Likewise, you know, you can put a big physical statement down early on against those guys, those sort of ball players yourself. Uh, definitely, you know, probably once 23, they're going to be a very passionate squad. Um, and with that passion, obviously, does come the physicality. So I, I think that's going to be a, a big starter, especially, you know, the first 10, 20 minutes, um, being able to really set the tone, I think it's going to be massive for both teams. Julian, we'll come to you next, please. Yeah, hello. Um, I just wondered what what have been your what have been your most sort of memorable experience of playing against Ireland, which you think will be useful to you this weekend? Um, probably the first time playing over in Dublin. Um, don't want to bring it up again, but that yellow card and it's just a, a big learning curve as far as you know these intense games. Just making sure that personally we, we I, I stay clear in, in my role and. Um, but you know, especially when we've gone well, we're we're play when we're playing well and our best as a team is when we're going at people. So um, you know, I, th I think uh, as I said before, the, the physicality is going to be a big uh, stepping stone into this game. Thank you, James Carroll. We'll come to you, please. Hi, afternoon. Um, it's that kind of um, that familiar trio in the back row that we saw in Japan uh, last year. I think it's only the second time since the World Cup that you three will line up together. Can you just talk about what it's like to, you know, play with Sam and, and Billy and kind of what what they bring to the side? Yeah, I didn't even know that myself. Um, yeah, I no, think I'm it, right in saying that. Anyway, <laughs> it's it's uh, obviously nice. I think we've all done quite a lot of growing since then. Um, obviously not in height <laughs> I wish um, but you know in terms of how our games have gone I, I think we, we, we've developed a lot since a year ago and um, especially training uh, it feels like it's play, playing off each other playing with each other I think it's, it's going well um, you know Sam's brilliant defensively uh, you can always rely on him especially around the tackle contest the breakdown Billy being able to play off him in, in, in attack is, is brilliant, you, you know, guaranteed to, to get the ball forward and, and playing off him, um, open spaces around him. So, you know, those two, I think it's a, getting the balance right is massive in the back row and I think, um, you know, supporting each other, we, we can hopefully achieve that. Thanks a lot. James Svendra, we'll come to you now. Tom, it's such a historic rivalry between England and Ireland down the years, but do you think the match this Saturday will carry the same intensity and passion without the fans and without it being a Six Nations or a World Cup game? Yeah, 100%. I think you know, this is our most important game of the year. Um, you know, without fans, obviously, it's different, especially a big stadium like Twickenham, but that's where we've got to create our own atmosphere and and bring our own enthusiasm to that. Um, you know, everyone's obviously different. People thrive off different things, but making sure as a team we we each get each other right, um, and by doing that is make sure we're fully fully in, involved in the game and, and getting stuck in right from the start. So I think, um, yeah, definitely setting the tone and bringing that physicality is um, going to be a, a good step forward. Uh, hi, hi, Tom. Um, Eddie just described Ireland as, as the best poaching team in Europe, um, and that's why he he wanted you and Sam in the team. Can you just describe what that means for the challenge that you expect? What you make of of, of, of that particular battle on on Saturday? Um, I think it's probably a, a, an attack mindset in terms of making sure that we sort ourselves out, but also defensively making sure that we're able to challenge. Um, you know, statistically, Ireland are um, very good success, and they do, they do go for the ball a lot. Um, whether you know Stand, uh, Omani, Connors, um, whoever comes on, we've got to make sure as a team we're alive. As you know, it's not just a back row thing. Uh, that's the, the beauty of the breakdown. Everyone, no one can hide away from it, and everyone's involved in it. So making sure that you know it's not just the pressure on you know this back row battle, but more of a who can get the whole team on it for the full 80 minutes, I think it's going to be the, the, the big challenge for everyone um, and, and the most important. 